Angela Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Welcome to another great day and welcome of course to Church on the Beach. Glad that you've joined us. Today we continue on with the call of God. Often we have to stir ourselves up and keep focused on the call of God that's on our life. I personally find there are so many distractions that can take us away from the plans and purpose of God. And much of this has to do with our thought life. We've already looked at the fact that after Abraham was called of God, he obeyed by going out to fulfill the promises of God. Even the birds seem to be agreeing with me today. I want to pick up something again in Hebrews 11, verse 13 on, about the people that lived in faith. All these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised, they only saw them and welcomed them from a distance. They admitted that they were aliens and strangers on earth. The people who say such things show that they are looking for a country of their own. If they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have had opportunity to return. Instead they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. So let me emphasize on this point. If these people had been thinking about the place where they had left, then their thoughts would have led them back to it. So let's keep our thoughts focused on what's ahead and what God has prepared for us. Let me illustrate this by three people that had a call of God in their life, but they kept looking back. And you can read about this for yourself in Luke's Gospel chapter 9. Jesus was walking along a road. A man said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus replied, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. In other words, Jesus said, If you follow me, your whole life could be turned upside down. You may not have a nice house to go home to or a fresh, clean bed to sleep in. More than once we've been on a mission trip and we've had nowhere to sleep. And we pulled up on the side of the road and slept in our car. And I remember when some of the children even slept in the trunk or the boot of our car. Jesus never promised this young man or whoever it was a bed of roses, homes of comfort. Jesus said that foxes, they have a place to go back home to. And so do the birds of the air. But he himself would not know where he had laid his head for that night. Jesus said to another man, follow me. But the man replied, Lord, let me first. Let me first go and bury my father. How often does the me first get in the way of our calling? But more important than any other thing, Jesus said, you go and preach the kingdom of God. Another one called Jesus Lord and said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. Wow, they are so strong, those words. But they are words of the Master, the Lord of the harvest. Jesus said in another place, Remember Lot's wife. Why, she looked back and saw the bright lights of the city. That is the city where she came from. And she became a stagnant pillar of salt. Let's keep our eyes focused upon Jesus. And he will show us why he has called us that we can fulfill the call of God. Like the Apostle Paul, I want to know why God has plucked me up out of this world system and put a call of God upon my life. And the only way I'm going to know is to keep following the Master.
It's been a glorious sunrise this morning. Hope you've enjoyed it with us and I want you to have a great day.